they take flight on the air veyer, once again held by the bottle's support ledge. The bottles are on their final air veyer journey to the filling room. In here, the filling happens at up to 800 bottles per minute. The challenge is to get a pressurized beverage into the bottles quickly. To see it happen, it helps to slow down the process. First thing the filler valve does is pressurizes that bottle to equal the pressure in the filler bowl. It takes a full revolution of the wheel to fill a bottle. The Coca-Cola going in is ice cold. This filler runs anywhere between 36, 38 degrees, and that keeps the product stable. Hot product foams, and you can't keep it in the bottle. As the bottles come off the valve, they're depressurized. You have to depressurize it, equalize it so that it doesn't spew out when it comes off. Even so, the beverage seems to want to spew out as the filler resumes its top speed of 800 bottles a minute. The best thing to contain the pressure? Caps. Lots of them. The plant has more than two miles of conveyor systems. Why such a long conveyor? To create buffers on the line should some stations slow down or stop. Some parts of the conveyor system form holding areas during backups. Once the backup is resolved, the holding area is released and bottles continue their journey. One area that might suffer from a backup, the labeler. But today it's running fine. Bottles are gripped by the cap as the machine puts the labels on. Now they head for the wildest ride in the factory, the spiral conveyor. The spiral takes the bottles 18 feet high. The aerial conveyor frees up space on the factory floor. At the end of the line, they get a few hard knocks to orient them into a pallet layer. Once the pallet reaches seven layers, it's a wrap. 